Well, let's shift our focus now to other aspects of the arts and culture scene in Seoul, excuse me. And in particular, our Immune Heat today brings us a very special photo exhibition that just recently opened here in Seoul. Good afternoon to you, Good afternoon. So uh, the Pulitzer Prize winners are here. Mm -hmm, right, so the Pulitzer Prize has a photo exhibition available here. Now, this highly esteemed award is given by the Pulitzer Prize Board, and it's based on individuals they choose who display excellence in the field of journalism and fine arts. Now, in the photography division of this award, uh, the winners are usually chosen a year after the photo is taken, and as you'll see in just a bit, there are some very powerful images. Take a look. <laughs> With the click of a button, a moment in time is captured and forever preserved. To be remembered by those within the image, but also to be shared with the rest of the world. That's the motto here. Almost 50 years of history to be shared as winners of the esteemed Pulitzer Prize. Joseph Pulitzer was a legend in journalism, and before passing, he created a will so that people would be recognized and awarded within journalism. A portion of the money he allotted was put towards assembling this photojournalist gallery, and through this exhibition, you can see the biggest events of the year. For example, this year, you can see the major events of 2013. There are over 230 different pictures illustrating the last 50 or so years of our civilization. Years of war and disaster, family and love. The exhibition has made its round in Korea before, but this time they've expanded, bringing in additional works from the winning artists. They've created series of events through their pictures, where the viewer can get not just a glimpse of a moment, but a look at a time. Between the categories of breaking news and feature photography, the stories here range across the scope. In 1942, the prize was first awarded, then in 1968, they started awarding two prizes for photography. These are this year's winners, and here you can see a victim of the Boston Marathon bombing. This man was waiting for his girlfriend at the finish line, and then the attack happened, so he lost both legs. But the beautiful thing is his girlfriend waited for him after, and now they're married. It's interesting how this picture at first glance looks like Jesus on the cross. It's not just the pros that are accepted into this Hall of Fame. This picture shows a fireman rescuing this child. A picture taken by your everyday heroes because it's everyone's world to share, and it's everyone's moment to capture. You know, um, I think I have great respect for those uh, uh, photojournalists uh, mm -hmm. because, you know, uh, you know, uh, one photo, one great photo could, could just mean uh, a thousand words, mm -hmm. really. And, you know, these are some very incredible photos by very brave journalists right. uh, who were, you know, who they put their, you know, sometimes lives out there mm -hmm. and to take these photographs. Now, uh, what else does this exhibition feature? Right, so this exhibition is very unique. It features in a, uh, not only the photos, but also a video portion that shows um, an interview with a lot of the photographers and a behind the scenes look at basically the story behind the picture. And so that's a very unique aspect of this exhibition. That is very interesting and, you know, really brings the photo to life. Now, uh, with the two categories, uh, breaking news and feature photography, mm -hmm. I noticed uh, some photos from the Korean War. Exactly. So they actually have a very special part of this exhibition um, in honor of the Korean War. And so they have some very special photos by one of the award-winning photographers, Maxis Four. Uh, there are a total of uh, 45 additional photographs by this photographer that are being exhibited. It's titled The Forgotten War, and the exhibition captures the people and their lives here in Korea. Now, one of the most chilling photographs of this exhibition uh, you're about to see is this one with, you know, it's a prisoner of war with his hands bound, um, and you kind of see a hole where he was probably trying to breathe. And so this image of, you know, haunting death, it's really an image that was widespread across the nation that uh, Korea really had to deal with and left a lot of scars. Right, um, very, very powerful images. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned that this isn't the first time that this exhibition has been here. Right, so the first time it came in 1998 and it was hugely popular 
drew in hundreds of thousands of people. Um, and this time around, they do expect it to be just as popular. You know, it's a very touching exhibition that people do enjoy going to see. Right, and it's something that we all, I think, need to go and, and see mm -hmm. to to see what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of news and what kind of developments have happened in mm -hmm. the past a decade or years. so yeah. over the years. And uh, definitely a very powerful exhibition. And uh, we have until September to catch this, right? Exactly. All right. Well, thank you, Yunhee, for that very interesting report. Always a pleasure. Thank mm -hmm. you.